Hey everyone, today we are going to be finding the surface area of triangular prisms. Before we can do that and look at the formulas, we need to identify key features of a triangular prism. So remember triangular prisms, they're named after their bases. So the triangles are the bases. And then that makes our height right here, connecting the bases. Same thing here, those triangles are the bases, and that makes the height, the distance here connecting them. Here are my triangular bases, and the height is the distance connecting them. This time it's actually standing on the triangular base, and the height is connecting them. And then last one, these triangles on the sides are the bases, which makes this length connecting them the height. So the first formula we're gonna look at, it's the same as a rectangular prism. The lateral surface area of a triangular prism, of any prism, is the perimeter of the base times the height. Remember, lateral surface area does not include the bases. So we are just finding everything but the triangles. We're finding that part right there, which if I unfold this triangular prism into a net, it is just a rectangle that I am finding the area of. And remember, the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. Well, the length is the height because it's connecting the bases right here. And then the width, you can see that it's going to be the perimeter of the base. So that's where the lateral surface area formula comes from. Okay, now let's look at total surface area. Total surface area is that same perimeter times height, but we also include the two bases. So you will include all of the blue and pink shaded part this time. So we will do perimeter of the base times the height and then add the area of the bases. Let's talk about the area of the bases really quick, the capital B. So we are finding the area of a triangle since our bases are triangles here. And the way that we find the area of a triangle is one half base times height. This formula is confusing because the capital B, I use one half lowercase b times h in it. So it's kind of a formula within a formula. The total surface area formula has an h and a b in it already. And then to find b, I use a different formula that has a b and an h. So it's really important that you keep your work organized and are shading the base of the prism and circling the height to help you avoid errors. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice finding the surface area of triangular prisms. So first thing I'm gonna do is shade the triangular bases. And then I'm going to circle my height. And I'm finding a lateral surface area, which is perimeter times height. So I'll have to find the perimeter of the triangular base times the height of the prism. The height of the prism, I circled that, it's 10.5. I'm gonna cross it out because that's the only time we use that for the formula. We don't use this when we're finding capital B, we only use it for the height of the prism, so after I write it down for this H, I cross it out. Okay, the other thing I need is the perimeter of the triangular base. So here is my triangular base, that side is five, three, and this side is seven. It told me it down here. So there's the three sides I'm going to add together for my perimeter, five plus three plus seven. And five plus three plus seven is 15. So to find lateral surface area, I will do 15 times 10.5. And 15 times 10.5 is 157.5 centimeters squared. 
Okay, let's look at number two. It is the same thing, but this time I am finding the total surface area. So I will do the perimeter times the height and I will add the area of the base this time. This is the same one as last time. There's my triangular bases and my height was 10.5. I will need perimeter of the base, the height, which is 10.5 and the area of the base. And the perimeter is the same as the last one. I do 5 plus 3 plus 7, 5 plus 3 plus 7 was 15. Okay, now I need the area of the base. Remember the formula for this is 1 half base times height. And the base and the height, we're talking about the triangle. So let's just look at the triangle here. Here is the base of the triangle, 7, and the height of the triangle is 2. Remember, the base and the height of a triangle form a right angle. So there's the base and there's the height that I'm going to use. So to find the area of the triangle, I will do 1 half times 7 times 2. And 1 half. times seven times two is seven. Okay, now I have everything I need to find the total surface area. I have a perimeter, I have the height, and I have the area of the triangular base, which was seven. So I will substitute in, we will do 15 times 10.5 plus two times seven and 15 times 10.5 plus 2 times 7 is 171.5 centimeters squared. All right, let's look at number 3. I am finding the lateral surface area of this prism, so I will do perimeter times the height to find that. Um, so my bases here are the triangles. If you see triangles, those are the bases because those are opposite from each other and congruent. Um, sometimes people are tempted to shade that as the base. That's not the base. The base is the triangles. So since the base is the triangle, the height is 10. So I'll need to find perimeter of the base and the height is 10. I'm going to cross it out because that's the only time I use 10. Now I need to find the perimeter of the triangular base. So I will do 8 plus 8.5 plus this side, which is 15. So to find the perimeter of the base, we'll do 8 plus 8.5 plus 15. 8 plus 8.5 plus 15 is 31.5. And now I have the two things I need to find lateral surface area. I just multiply them together. 31.5 times 10. 31.5 times 10 is 315 inches squared. Okay, next one, I need to find the total surface area. So I'll do perimeter times the height plus two times the area of the base. So I'll need capital P, H, and B. So let's start by shading the triangular bases and the height of the prism connects the bases. So it's 12. I'm gonna cross it out because I'm done with it now. All right, now I need to find the perimeter of the base, which is 7.5 plus 7.5 plus that side, which is 10.6. So to find the perimeter of the base, I will do 7.5 plus 7.5 plus 10.6. And 7.5 plus 7.5 plus 10.6 is 25.6. All right, now I have to find the area of the base. Remember the area of a triangle is one half base times height. And the base and the height form the right angle. So let's look at this a little bit closer. 
these two sides form the right angle. They tell us up here, but it's the 7.5 and the 7.5 that form the right angle. So I'm going to use those numbers as the base and the height. So to find the area of that triangular base, I'll do one half times 7.5 times 7.5 and one half times 7.5 times 7.5 is 28.125. We can round at the end, try to avoid rounding until the very end if you can. Okay, so now I have the three things I need for the total surface area. I have perimeter of the base, I have the height of 12, and then I just found the area of the triangular base, which was 28.125. So we're going to plug into pH plus 2B. Perimeter was 25.6, the height was 12, and then we do plus 2 times 28.125. Okay, so I'm gonna type the total surface area formula into the calculator now. So I'm gonna do 25.6 times 12 plus two times 28.125. And the total surface area of that triangular prism is 363.45 feet squared. All right, let's look at number five. Again, I am finding the total surface area, so I will do pH plus 2B. So I'll need perimeter of the base, height of the prism, and area of the base. Remember, the bases are always the triangles, and the height of the prism is the distance connecting the triangles, which is seven. Okay, now I need to find the perimeter of that triangular base. So I will do 4.5 plus 5.5 plus this side, which is 5. So to find the perimeter of the base, I will do 4.5 plus 5.5 plus 5. And 4.5 plus 5.5 plus 5 is 15. Okay, now I need to find the area of this triangular base, which remember I do by doing 1 half times the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. And remember the base and the height of the triangle form the right angle. So I can see that the height of the triangle is going to be four and the base will be this, which is 5.5. So to find the area of the triangle, I'm gonna do one half times the base of 5.5 times the height of four. So one half times 5.5 times four and one half times 5.5 times four is 11. Okay, now I have everything I need to find the total surface area. I'm going to plug into pH plus 2B, so it'll be 15 times seven plus two times 11. And 15 times seven plus two times 11 is 127 meters squared. All right, last one. It says the base of a triangular prism is shown. If the height is 12, what is the lateral surface area of the triangular prism? So I need to find the lateral surface area by doing the perimeter of the base times the height. They told us the height in the problem is 12. Now I just have to find the perimeter of the base that they drew out for us by adding five plus seven plus five. And five plus seven plus five is 17. And then I just multiply the perimeter 17 times the height of 12. And my lateral surface area is 204 centimeters squared. 